Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to be here. Somebody requested this video and I thought it was a really great idea. It's very difficult trying to like find your way as a mom and I think when you have other moms kind of giving you support, giving you like ideas, even if it's just like giving you like an idea about another idea, you know, like not to do exactly what I say or what, you know, feel like you have to do exactly what I'm telling you or what I'm suggesting or what I'm just like, whatever. Like just to be inspired and just to be like a little bit feel like you were like a little refreshed watching this video, a little like inspired, a little like challenged, a little, I don't know, encouraged. Really, us moms could use all the encouragement that we can get, right? <laughs> I've been a mom for almost eight years. Evelette will be eight years old in February. So I've been a mom a while. I've made mistakes. I'm still making mistakes. Um, I don't have like a magic wand that can make your house beautiful but, and perfect all the time. So if that's what you're looking for, I'm so sorry. I wish there was one out there. I'm just gonna be giving you advice. So that's what this video is about. It's just giving you advice on what I have made mistakes over and kind of found out, somehow stumbled upon, how to have a nice house when you have kids. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about. I actually made a list because I was paranoid that I would forget something. And I don't think I even remembered, because I just made this list right before the video. I should have been like writing it down as I was thinking of things because I'm sure that I'm forgetting something. But I just thought this would be a great video, a great way to just have fun as moms, sit down, think about things, maybe just be inspired. So that's what I'm going to do. Whoops. I have a confession to make. I This is my third video that I filmed in the last few hours. This is what I've been doing all afternoon. This is my third video. So if I'm a little tongue-tied or rough-voiced horse, that's why. But I am actually so excited about this video. I'm, if there was a video out there, maybe there is another video, maybe there's lots of videos out there like this, but I would definitely watch them because we can all use good ideas. I think it's really cool. I guess the first thing that I wrote down was not to wait until your kids are grown to have your the house that you want or to decorate the way that you want. Like, we like, okay, once they're all grown, then I'll be able to do, then I'll be able to decorate like I want or be able to have the house that I want or have it to be the way that I want. Like, have it now. Like, don't wait until your kids are older. Like, enjoy it with them. Have a beautiful, like, welcoming home that you guys all want to be at and that is comfortable, that is stylish. Like, you can be chic and be a mom. You know what I mean? You can wear that white shirt. Your white shirt might be covered in ketchup and mustard and jam and stuff by the end of the day, but you wore that white shirt and it was beautiful for that brief moment buy it from Forever 21 that you don't care, or get some bleach and bleach it out, or make it work, you know what I mean? Make it work. I am big on everything in its place. Everything has a place. The Polly Pockets go in this bin, the toy cars go in this bin, like everything has a place, and everything is really accessible. Like the things that they use more, I have in a place that they can get into easily. easily. The Polly Pockets are actually up in the laundry room, up on the high shelf up there. So I have to get it down, but Stella's been really into them, so I've been having to get it down lately a lot more. So I might have to like kind of rethink where I have that and have it in a place that's more accessible because it's kind of a disruption to my schedule or to what I'm doing. I mean, not that much, but <laughs> it's no big deal just getting it down. But then I have to like get it down and get it back up and it's kind of this big bin. So to maybe like move something else that they don't use as much up there now. And it's kind of nice that way to rotate things because it's like fresh for them, like it's fresh and new, like it's exciting, almost like a new toy. So I do think it's really good to get rid of stuff, but to also rotate things is a really smart way to almost have like, have a new invigoration for them with that toy. It's almost like new to them. But, and then also like their clothes, like they have their clothes always in the same place, like have them organized a certain way, their shoes, all of that, just have it be the same way and they all know where, where it goes. I haven't, Evelet will have started to pick out her clothes, but I actually don't even have Stella or Hugh pick them out. They will have like input, but I will be the one that will lay them out for them. Otherwise, they'll go through their drawers and totally destroy them. I'm kind of going off on a tangent. I wasn't even going to talk about this. But um, <laughs> that is like, sometimes the kids are too young to do it. You know what I mean? Like don't have them start too early that they get in bad habits. Like, Hugh, I think if I let him do that, he would just, like, because when he has done it a few times, he just, like, goes through everything and makes a big mess. 
but I've waited a little bit longer with Evela and now she's kind of picking, she's starting to pick out her own clothes and she's way tidier about it. That might be depending upon the child too, so this might not always work and this is just me trying it out. But with this kind of happened with potty training, I started a little too early with Evelet and it was a big struggle. So I waited with Hugh and I waited with Stella and it was way easier when they were a little bit older. So I'm kind of thinking that'll be the same way, but yeah, but definitely their toys and things like that, they're a lot easier to put away. Um, I have them do it and I just, I make it so it's not too difficult. So that's, that's my first thing. I don't know. Maybe that was my five things. Have an off limits room or even if, if you don't have that big of a space, like an off limits corner, no, this is mommy's corner or no, this room is not really that fun for you guys, so you guys need to stay out of it. It's not really for you. You have your bedroom, you have your play space, you have the living room, you have the kitchen, you have the whatever. But this is kind of the off-limit space. And that, for me, is in the front room. They do have the teepee and things in there that, and the um, reading nook that they go into. But there's nothing really that they want to go and check out because it's all like grown-up mommy stuff. So it's just, it's not that exciting for them. So, and they just they're not that interested. Sometimes they'll kind of go in there, but they pretty much know it's not really for them. So when the house is a mess and it's crazy and I'm just like, there's laundry everywhere, which laundry is another thing. Ooh, always constant battle. Um, I can go into the front room and it's perfect and it's just the way I left it and I can just like breathe in there for a minute. So it's so nice to have a space you can go, relax. If you just don't have the energy to like pick up the rest of the house, you have that space that's always just immaculate or that little corner that you can just kind of breathe in, have light your candle, that um, that makes a big difference. So give them little jobs to do. And as I said, as they age, as they get a little bit older, I give an Evelette like more responsibility. And um, But I also have Hugh and Stella do little jobs too, just to get them used to it. Like if they're expected to do that, they kind of just get into that routine. So, so yeah, just give them little jobs. And now that Evelyn's a little older, she's able to do, like unload the dishwasher, make her bed, and like pick out her clothes and everything like that. She's in charge of feeding cash in the morning and at nighttime. It's really nice. It's just give them little jobs to do. They need to help out too, because you're you're not like just like the servant and they're you know the kings and queens that are just waited upon hand and foot. Um, <laughs> They are the most part to like a certain age like okay now you need to like you're old enough you can start picking up things and helping out. So many hands make light work as my mother always said. Another thing is to double check their work. That's a big thing. Um, I was talking to somebody and I was telling them about this and they were like this is such a good idea because I don't double check their work so they don't there's no like they're not really driven to do a good job because they know you won't look really. So I have to keep up on that. So I will, um, I don't do it every time, but I'll do it so enough so that they like will think, oh, she might check. So I better like put this away correctly or we won't get to watch that movie or I won't get to have that M&M or like I won't get to have that treat. Or if it's something like serious, I'll get like something taken away. Like, I, have, I haven't done it too much, but like I have said like, well, if you're not going to be making your bed, I'm going to take away the iPad or I'm going to take away something else so that's something but I'm just giving you guys ideas this is just what I do this is just like throwing stuff out there you can throw it right back but this is just something that helps me uh, what they are used to is what they'll expect um, if you if they're used to like toys on the floor like all the time if they're used to like the dishes piled up if they're used to just I don't know, or if they're used to just like not nice furniture, if they're used to whatever, they'll be used to that. But if they're used to, no, we keep things nice, we have nice things, they learn to like respect that and they're used to that, then that's how they'll expect things. So that's just, I don't know if that necessarily makes sense. Hopefully, hopefully this is making sense. Yeah, just keep their expectations like, I've actually been a little bit embarrassed because I've had to talk to Evelyn because she has gone to somebody else's room when she was actually younger and said, oh, your room is really dirty or, oh, your car is really dirty. And I just, like, died of embarrassment. Um, but um, I was like, Evelyn, that's not a very nice thing to say. We don't say that. Or how about you offer to help clean up? Or we don't, you know, 
some people just live differently, but we live a certain way where we keep our things picked up and um, you make big messes too and your room gets messy and our car gets really dirty. So I've had to <laughs> talk to her about that too. Like you need to help out at home too so that um, you help out because it's hard being mommy and daddy and keeping things picked up and clean. So felt pads have been something that have been my best friend. I have in different sizes, different colors. I actually just ordered some clear felt pads to go under this rock that I have to protect um, so it like doesn't distract from the rock because it's a really cool big rock we got on our road trip um, but it also doesn't scrape up um, my desk so these are really nice I put these against like the tables that the kids have or chairs like on the floor or different things that like rub against the walls or rub against the floor or rub against each other wherever I can just discreetly put them that will protect the furniture it is so nice this has been this has saved many a thing so these are really great you can get these pretty much anywhere Amazon is a great place to buy them but I just always have them in stock for some reason we go through them I don't know how we keep using them but like sometimes they'll fall off or we'll get something new or we'll notice that it needs to be put on there so these are really nice this is like a bubble wrap for your house for your furniture but in a discreet way you can get like little ones that don't show up as much too so that's a really nice thing and I'll put them on like the bottom of vases and different things like that that can kind of scrape up stuff so that's something that I like to do um, oh I said no black <laughs> I'm saying this very lightly though but um, we were at Ikea one time and there was a family looking at a black couch and I felt like compelled to talk to them because black is so hard, like especially the fabric that they were looking at, like everything would stick to it. We actually bought black Ikea pillows and like every little lint and every little hair and everything would just like be shown up so much on it. And you know, like kids wipe their mouth on it and there'd be like slobber marks and so I actually was like, oh, you're looking at this couch and um, <laughs> I somehow was like trying to tell them in a nice way like maybe you shouldn't get black with a family it's very hard to keep clean um, but and dark floors that's another thing dark floors I wanted I picked a very um, neutral floor that is not too light and it's not too dark because anything will show up on those types of surfaces scratches or hair or lint or whatever you will your house will like always look dirty because even if it's not that dirty just because it's like so magnified on that dark or that light surface especially dark um so that's something that kind of to keep in mind and what did i say oh the glossy doors so we have bought lots of furniture from ikea which is amazing ikea is a great place to buy inexpensive furniture that you don't have to be like so invested in that you're heartbroken if anything ever happens to that to it um, but these, I have a few different um, dressers like this or entertainment, whatever things like this. And the front of them is glossy. It's like a coat that's over the top of the doors. And they have been scuffed and different things like that. And I can easily wipe it off with a magic eraser or just with like a wet wipe. That was another one of my points that wet wipes and magic erasers are your friends. I can, if I can't get it off with a wet wipe, I'll use a magic eraser. But I'm telling you, 75% of the time I can get off anything with a wet wipe so that's something to kind of keep in mind um, I'll clean like my purses with them I'll clean furniture I'll clean um, pretty much anything shoes yeah so this glossy surface is really nice because stuff comes off of it and it doesn't like I don't know it looks fancy but it's not but it's like durable it's kind of crazy how that works I started to decorate a lot more with plants it like it adds a level of sophistication to your home um, but it's totally child friendly. And I say that and I have like a big like cactuses around here. <laughs> the kids just don't touch them because it hurts. So actually I don't think they've even touched them to know that they hurt, but they just see that they're pokey. But I do have several plants around the house that aren't hurtful, but they just add so much. If the kids bump them or whatever, it's no big deal. It just, it makes the house beautiful, but um, it's totally fine with kids. And if they do touch it, it's like no big deal. So. So that's something else. And also, it's really nice having greenery and stuff in your house that is produ producing like fresh oxygen, air quality in your home too. So um, that's another thing to think about. So nice. So fresh. They add that like life to the home. Space for them to play. I, um, like I said, there's, 
We have different places that are specifically for them that they can have their stuff out, that they can just be creative, that they have like pencils and different things accessible, that they, um, yeah, they have like their stuff, they have their space. Both Evelette and Hugh have lots of little knickknacks. Stella's kind of starting to get stuff too on their shelves and things like that that I just kind of let them have freedom with. Um, they need to have kind of that outlet and to have like those little things that you're maybe not as excited about as them as they are, but just to let them be creative and stuff. So, and every once in a while we'll kind of go through and throw away the garbage and different things like that, like gum wrappers or whatever that they think are so cool um, that I have to kind of pull away from them. So, um, but yeah, have a space for them to play. Have a routine and, oh, have a routine. Um, this is just something that we do that is helpful to me. Um, we pick up before we go to bed at nighttime and we'll actually kind of pick up as the day. Like we don't just get out every single toy. We will clean up um, before we move on to something else. I mean, in a perfect world, sometimes we don't. Um, but just kind of keep on top of it a little bit. Otherwise, if you're at the end of the day and every toy, every single toy is, you know, strewn about, that can be very overwhelming. So if you kind of keep up on it, that is helpful. So yeah, and I try to do like at every at nighttime, everything is picked up, so we can start the day afresh the next day. And that way, the kids kind of know what to expect. Like, oh, we got to pick up before we go to bed, so, or we got to pick up before we watch like a little show at night. So that's kind of like a little treat for them. Um, and then that was my next thing was stay up on things. Was just like kind of keep up on things, like double check their work and just keep on putting away toys and things like that. So you're not like completely overwhelmed. I get, I struggle with laundry really bad because I get behind and then I feel like really overwhelmed. So I try and my best to keep up on stuff, but sometimes it's just like after a trip or whatever, I get completely overwhelmed with laundry because it just feels like a mountain and it's just going to take forever. And I'd rather be doing different things like working out or making food or <laughs> it's hard to kind of like organize that whole laundry situation. Oh my goodness, I'm done. So that is it. I went through all of the things that I had. Um, if you guys have any like questions, I am, I hope this is kind of what you wanted or what you expected from this video. And I hope that you got some good ideas. Yeah. Oh, we did get a big sectional. We got that white sectional, which actually worked out well. Um, it was the the actual cushions that like wore out over time, but we have a big gray one. But we really do love it because it's so family friendly that we can all sit on it and be cozy. And it's still very chic looking and modern, but it's also very functional and cozy. So I think that if you kind of have that in mind when you buy furniture, like you can have like some kind of accents that they're maybe not so functional, but they're kind of cool and they add like something to that room that really makes it like cool, if you will, or just beautiful but then you have things too that are really like touchable and cozy and just you know fine um, that's kind of a nice balance that's kind of what I try to do with all of my rooms is I'll have beautiful things but also like things that um, it's not a big deal if they get banged up or it's um, very like welcoming so yeah so I hope this really helped you if you guys have any um, questions I'll be happy to answer um, and if you like want another video talking about something else with kids or if you have anything like that, just let me know. So yeah. So thank you so much you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful and thank you for all your support and your comments. They really do mean a lot to me. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.